Shout out to all my brothers and sisters on the African continent. This one goes out to Kenya. And they're doing something that international and American drivers, Canadian drivers, European drivers could learn from, right? Because this is the only way you start going forward. When they push you that far down, you're, remember, you're an independent contractor. You start taking matters into your own hands. So check it out. Eight years, she's worked as a taxi driver in Kenya's capital. Judith Chepkwoni says she's never seen business this bad. A bruise. We've never seen business this bad. In price war between ride-hailing companies Uber, Bolt, and local startups Little and Faras has driven fares down to a level that many drivers say is unsustainable. And that's forced some to set their own higher prices. That is for some to set their own higher prices. Listen to that, right? Because that's what you can actually do. You're an independent contractor. Sorry, I'm not driving for $3. If you want to come along, the price is 10 I mean, seriously, ladies and gentlemen, this is what ICs should be doing. And they can't deactivate you over that. Chuck Crony argues they have no other way. If you stick to the apps rate, she says, you can spend 12 hours working and still not make enough to cover fuel and the loan repayments on your car. The app will take their commission in full. The passenger will be happy to pay the amount they can afford. The driver is left in the middle, squeezed between them, pressed by loans, pressed by the passengers and pressed by the app. Hold on. Chapcroni says around half her passengers eventually agree to pay more than the price. Go Chapcroni! She's got it right. Price are flashing up on their app. Uber, however, says such arrangements break its guidelines. It told its drivers to get back in line and urged customers to report instances when they are overcharged. They're worried. They're worried. That's setting up a clash between this slick, automated world of the international ride-hailing industry and the messier realities of life. Kenya, Nigeria and Tanzania, with their growing economies and relatively low car ownership, are among the most important markets for Uber in Africa, its executives have said. However, Kenya has recently been rocked by protests against proposed tax hikes amid high prices for basic commodities, elevated interest rates and, subsequently, lower disposable incomes. In response to demands from the drivers, local startup Faris Cabs has raised fares by a fifth. Estonia's Bolt, meanwhile, has said it discourages fare hiking, while the industry searches for a solution to balance the needs of drivers and customers. While they wait, drivers continue to find ways to get around the app's algorithmically produced fares. They use a walkie-talkie app to collectively agree on higher prices. That means customers will get the same rate even if they shop around. Drivers have also produced a laminated fare guide, which they post inside their cars for customers to see. A fare guide, right? This is basically defying Uber and Bolt. No, no, no. This is the way it should be. I'm an independent contract and here are the rates, right? Because with the Uber and uh, Bolt rates, we as the Kenyans can survive, right? So shout out to Kenya, man. Listen, balls of steel. You are showing the way how it's supposed to be done. And I appreciate this. I appreciate this approach. Nairobi-based driver Eric Nyamwea said you can work it out quickly by multiplying the app's fare by 1.5. But if he doesn't agree, I told you earlier, if he doesn't agree or she doesn't agree, we do what this, that what the app is saying. Because... After all, or at the end of the day, you have to work. <laughs> I love it. If you do not agree to my 1.5, you got to walk. Listen to that. You got to walk, baby. If you refuse everything, Nyamwea says, you might as well ship out of the business. But he says, before we ship out, we are trying to make the business better. Thank you, man. That's awesome. I love this report. 
It's the way it should be, right? If Hey, if you're not prepared to pay my rates as an independent contractor, there we go. Start walking. Stand up, Kenya. I love it. I love it. I love the energy. I love your attitude. I love your direction. I love you showing the company that, no, you're not pushing us around. If you are, and you're going to offer these pathetic rates, we're going to put laminate cards with suggested pricing in the back of our cars, and we set our own rates, period. Goodbye. By the way, take, I'm telling you right now, take the private chauffeur, the private driver course below where you are a true independent contractor at my company, Gig Rocket. I teach you all the ins and outs to set your own rates. Have a good one. Please comment.